Welcome back. This is your man, Warrior, and this is the first Treya I have found on my leaderboard. I'm sure there's a couple, but we're so many different time zones. Um, some of them rise and fall. Uh, but Hirono has had always had a really good team, and he's the first one I've seen uh, consistently in the top 10. Now, I know everybody's going to say first thing is, is why can't you battle somebody else without a Treya lead, uh, with like an Emperor Palpatine lead, because they say that's better, uh, because this is all I have. So um, I want to show a realistic environment, uh, a real leaderboard. Um, so it's more organic so you can see uh, what I'm facing and how I'm handling it. Uh, and this is the only one I've been able to record on my actual leaderboard. This is actually, though, a really good team because of the Sith Triumvirate is always good. And then, of course, Sith Assassin and Sith Trooper are really, really, really good underneath Treya. Now, the issue with this team is it's going to be really fast because of Sith Assassin. It has two tanks. It has Darth Nihilus that's going to constantly get stronger and stronger in health because of all the debuffing with Scion and or Treya. And Treya can do massive damage, cleanse the entire team, and gains tons of protection up. And then there's Scion. And if you let Scion pop his uh, a special ability, he's going to be regeneratable and be able to come back to life. And he hits for like 50,000, which is absolutely crazy. That's as much or more than any major DPS uh, character. So really, he's not just a tank. He's actually the highest DPS character on this particular team. But Nihilus is a threat. Now, Nihilus should be maintained until you can annihilate him. Really, annihilation uh, with your Darth Nihilus is the best route. And if you can keep ability block on him, that's or cooldown increases, that's the best way. And then killing Scion. Now, the issue with that is Darth is having a Sith Trooper in here. Sith Trooper really makes it difficult to get over to Scion. And so Emperor Palpatine and his shock are going to be critical in painting the team with as much shock as possible to make sure that the taunts don't stay up over their heads and allows you to target who you need to target first. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I know that Hirono has crazy good mods on these characters. Um, we'll just take a look at his Sith Assassin, which is supposed to be fast. And 143 plus speed, almost a 300 speed Sith Assassin. I actually don't even know if my arena team can even get close to competing with this team. 244 speed, pretty crazy. Now, I do have a sneaking suspicion that a Jedi Training Ray with all of the foresight is going to be a really good counter team with the exposes and the foresight because Isolate can miss due to the foresight. So, uh, and Holdo is becoming a thing. A lot of people have Holdo now. Um, and so, I think there's a possibility that Jedi Training Ray may have a slight resurgence um, back into the top 10. We will see. Anyway, I want to go ahead and do this battle. This will be the first time I've done a real battle on my real leaderboard to see how I do against a Treya team. Of course, I'm just using the existing team I've used now for two months um, just to see how I can do against it. Win or lose, this is going to be a learning process for me, and so that's why I'm doing it with my existing team without making modifications. I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is paid for All is said and done
burning the bridge that keeps us I'm here and I'm feeling Exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted, watching where I step still Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live I want to take it all, standing tall Fear I'm way the person you are oh. I don't know if you see kind of how I handled it or what I did, but Basically, I managed fracturing and having shock over the head. Now, it does get cleansed from time to time because of Treya, and she does isolate like she isolated my Scion. But the whole point here was to just take a run. And, um, and so my first priority was managing the taunts until I could get rid of their Darth Nihilus, which I did with my Darth Nihilus. Um, and then after I did that, then it was to kill Scion. Now, it won't always go that way. If I can kill Scion first, I probably will most of the time, although the opportunity presented itself to get rid of their Nihilus. Um, because she's now fractured, I can just kind of have fun with the team. Um, I can kill the Sith Trooper. I can now go after her. She, in and of herself, is not hard to kill, even with all of the protection that she gets. Um, and... Of course, my Nihilus is going to go a lot because of all of the debuffs. And she's cleansing them, which gives us turn meter. And there you go. I took my time, but I just wanted... I was very concentrated those first two minutes because I didn't want to mess up. I really wanted to manage it. So I think that team on offense probably walks through my team pretty good. Um, I don't know if my, my defensive AI would be able to handle that. But offensively, she's easy to manage as a leader, um, with the existing meta and we all knew that beforehand But this was the first opportunity I had to do a battle on my leaderboard And I told you I would as soon as I had an opportunity. I will keep doing videos as they evolve the um, Their uh, teams and as I have to evolve my team will continue to showcase what that looks like on my leaderboard as always Make sure you like share and subscribe if you like the content and you want more as always keep your gaming on warrior out